Hey, good morning. How are we doing today? Hopefully we're all doing pretty good. And today I'm going to show you how to do this uh, succulent hot pads. Okay, go ahead and grab yourself a cup of coffee and we'll get started. All right. What hook we're going to be using today is a 3.0 millimeter hook. And the reason being is to get these holes smaller. I'm going to be using a half double crochet basically throughout the whole entire hot pad itself. Otherwise, I'm going to do a sing single crochet all the way around the edge. Now, what you basically need is base uh, scrap yarn. Uh, I don't know the color right offhand, but I know it's Red Heart. It's really pretty sea green. I absolutely love this color, and the color combination looks really good. And then it's like a tan color brown. I'm sorry for not being able to know exactly, but by the time I get this uploaded, I'll go ahead and find out that information for you. All right, feel free to use any yarn that you want, any size hook. I just recommend do something that's smaller because it'll make these holes smaller. Now, most likely, it would be better for you to use a cotton yarn, but unfortunately, I don't work uh, well with cotton yarn, so I use acrylic. Um, I don't know, I don't see much of a difference other than the way it holds. If you're wanting it to hold, you know, for, you know, years to come, you know, that would be the best thing. But uh, anyways, we'll go ahead and get this thing started. Okay, I did a basic chain 33. Once we get that slip knot on the hook, we'll go ahead and we'll do a chain 33. Now granted, this first uh, set, or actually row, will be kind of hard because of the fact that um, the holes are smaller. So if you're used to that kind of a thing, then I'm sure you'll be fine. Okay, once you get to 10, go ahead and slide this on the back of your hook. This way it helps secure it in place. Otherwise, I've noticed when you don't do that sort of a thing, it tends to twist and turn, which is nothing more aggravating than when something twists and turns. Just simply do the best you can, slide it right on, and go ahead and continue and do the 33. Okay, as you can see here, it's fairly straight, so just simply slide it off the hook. Alright, as usual, I'm outside, so I don't own the rights of the music in the background, so please forgive all that noise. Okay, simply do a half double crochet in the second chain, and then of course in the remainder of the chains of the, of the row. It's a fairly simple hot pad to make. Uh, you could do this uh, as really quick. So this way you're able to give it as a gift for anyone. Uh, say you have a party you're going to today and you don't know what to bring, uh, bring these, this set of hot pads. Now as you've seen earlier in the uh, video, I showed you that we had uh, the succulent. I will later show you how to do that applique so you're able to add it on to your hot pad. If you don't want to have it on there, you don't have to. It's entirely up to you. You can put a, whatever it is, it is that you want to put on there. Okay, I will see you at the end of this round. Okay, as we get that first row done, we'll simply do a chain two, and then we'll turn our work. Continually doing the half double crochet in each of the stitches. We'll continue doing this for a total of 11 rows and then at the end we'll do add the single crochet along the edge for to make it a little nice finished touch but we'll worry about that here in a little bit all right we're going ahead and do the last two rows still continuing with the half double crochet now, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Help me support my uh, business, I guess you want to say. <laughs> and, of course, hit the bell if you want to get notified every time I come on. 
If you don't mind, please leave a uh, sweet comment down below telling me how your day is and what project you're working on. I'm here trying to figure out uh, cheap ways into doing a fall decoration because we're, you know, well, not too long we're going to be having Thanksgiving and I just want to decorate. I'm just in the mood for it. Haven't been in the past few years, but uh, this year is different. I'm excited to go ahead and do that, take on that task. But of course on that limited budget you have to worry about all that stuff. I thought about drawing some things, but I don't know, it might look a little corny, I don't know. We'll see. And once I do that, I'll be sure to share a video with you all as to what I did. Okay, I will leave the written instructions down in the description below. So this way, if you're better with looking at something instead of watching it on video, you rather have it on a piece of paper, I will do that also. So this way you're able to uh, hopefully be able to do it. Which you should because it's a fairly easy pattern. Even the applique is pretty easy. Now I was thinking I was going to do a different um, type of um, I don't know, loop or some kind of where you can attach it to the knobs themselves. But I just simply did a little loop, but I made sure I did it a little bit bigger because uh, some knobs are bigger than others. So hopefully this will help. I thought maybe doing like something with a Velcro type, but then the Velcro would be sticking onto the yarn. I really don't want that. I don't want it to look that, that way. Okay, we're on our last row. Be sure to add our chain two in the beginning of the row and then turning our work. All right, now we're going to go ahead and work on the border of the hot pad and of course add this little handle to the hot pad so you can hang it up on your knobs that you have in your kitchen. All right, we'll go ahead and do a slip knot on the hook using that sea green or of course any color that you're wanting. Now we're going to attach it to the edge of the, I guess, whatever corner that you're wanting to start off with. And simply just do a single crochet. Now for this step you just easily do a single crochet all the way around the edges. Be sure that when you get in the corners you do two single crochets. So it makes it more of that square form instead of it doing a rounded edge, which we don't want. Looks more of a finished edge when you do it square wise. I don't know if any of you have used Lion Brand pom poms before, but that's how I did my uh, applique of the cactus. I feel that it's it's thinner so it helps out a lot better and it looks more neater which is something that you want to do especially if you're giving this as a gift. I notice with the weight 4 yarn it's too thick so it kinda looks sloppy. So of course as usual. You use your preference. Just have fun. That's all that matters. See how this is nice and square? It does have a little tendency to have a pull to it, but all I can recommend is if you're wanting it a little bit sharper to add a chain one in between your second single crochet that you have in the corner. That's entirely up to you. Otherwise, Make sure when you're going along the edges that you do one single crochet in each of the rows that you did. Just 
do the best you can. If you happen to get more than one, uh, just make sure that it's not uh, no more than two because it'll look too sloppy. You want to make it look neat, especially with it being as a gift. Can't express that enough. Now I notice that sometimes if I'm not paying attention, I do more than the one per row. So sometimes I either correct it or sometimes I don't, depending on what I want to do and how it looks, of course. Now, as you can see here, I am doing more than one per row because I should have a total of 11 single crochets going along the edge. But as you can see, it looks more refined. So may basically doing one and then the right in between the two rows, I throw in another one. So that's where I get that little extra. Okay, I'm going to show you really quick this corner. This time I'm going to add the chain one. We'll see how it looks together having that chain one there. Maybe it'll look a little bit neater. And of course it does. Okay, again we'll do the single crochet going all along the edge here, going back the other way. Gets a little tedious, especially in that beginning row, because of course the ch um, chains are a little bit tighter. Somehow it works out that way for me, I don't understand why, but it's just the way my tension is whenever I start off. I guess I have to learn how to do a looser chain. <laughs> okay, we're getting here towards the end. Now when we started off, all we did was a single crochet. So we're going to add a second single crochet in that same hole. See how I did the two? Okay, just simply attach it by going into that first single crochet. I personally like to do another slip stitch. And then, of course, cut a little piece and then weave in the ends. Let's pull the yarn up. And then, of course, attach it to your yarn needle and then weave in the ends. Easy peasy. Hope you enjoyed this as much as I've enjoyed creating it. And here in a few minutes, we'll learn how to do the applique. Right now we're going to go ahead and we'll start this loop attachment to the pot holder. What we'll simply do is, of course, we'll do a slip stitch onto the hook. Then we'll do a simple chain 26. Oops. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. I tell you, sometimes it gives you and your patience, that's for sure. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, and last but not least, 26. All right, now we're going to go into that second chain from the hook, and we're going to do a single crochet in each of the chains. And that's that simply is it. We'll be sure to leave a, you know, decent amount of extra yarn on the ends. So this way we can, you know, of course, sew, hand sew it in. Okay, I will show you at the end of this part. Alright, as you can see here, we have a little lengthy piece of yarn. So we'll go ahead and we'll use that to tie in both ends. Now me personally, I try to use as much as I can as far as this way I have less scrap yarn. Because I don't like wasting yarn if I don't have to. 
Sorry about all that mishmash in front of the camera. Alright, we'll do the best we can by doing it on the middle. Make sure this is basically where I want it. And it appears that it is. Maybe just a tidbit over some. About right there. Okay, I just simply lay it flat. And then sew in the end. And then I basically run it through. And I'll show you what I mean by that to go and do the other side to help secure it in place and not waste any yarn of course all I do is just simply run my needle seeing that it's the same color along the edge and then come out on the other end to where I want to attach the other part of the piece of the handle. There we go. Just basically right around there. I like to have it wide enough so this way whenever you slide it over those knobs that you have in the kitchen it'll go over pretty decent. Now for some strange reason it's a little bit hard to go on so just bear with me. Alright, one more time and then we'll go ahead and we'll secure in our ends and then we'll, can, we'll go ahead and we'll learn how to do that applique. Okay, stay tuned for the next video and uh, we'll see you soon. Alrighty, bye bye.